My name is Joanne Boquet, and I'm a third year pharmacy student at Mercer University College of Pharmacy. As of March 27th, the CDC reported that there are more than 85,000 cases of the coronavirus within the U.S. And you're probably wondering, what can I do to decrease the spread of this virus? How can I play a major role in this global pandemic? Well, you may have heard of the concept flattening the curve. If not, allow me to introduce it to you. Flattening the curve is a term that has been used in previous epidemics to describe how we can theoretically alleviate and reduce the spread of a disease while also maintaining the flow of the healthcare system. It is directly linked to how we can play our part in reducing the spread of this virus and our understanding of the curve will lead us to making better decisions. We currently have a high number of individuals infected with the virus. Despite the high number of cases, Say we do not implement protective measures, such as avoiding close contact, also known as social distancing, washing our hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, and more. The number of cases will continue to increase. From this line, you can see the healthcare system capacity or limits within a hospital, for instance. There are a limited number of beds as many patients with critical conditions are within the hospital as well. There are a limited number of healthcare providers, and there is an increased risk to their health and safety due to a limited number of personal protective equipment. This includes masks, gowns, gloves, and more. A limited number of ventilators to help with the shortness of breath experience from having this virus. And recently, the FDA reported of a current medication shortage. The list just continues to go on. If we continue to have a high number of cases, the healthcare system will be unable to care for those experiencing serious complications from the virus and other disease states other patients are living with. Fortunately, we can have a major impact on decreasing the spread of this virus without overwhelming the healthcare system by making it a priority to implement the following protective measures recommended by the CDC. We should clean our hands often, avoid close contact, stay home if we're sick, clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces, cover our cough and sneezes, wear a face mask, but only if we're sick. By doing this, we can decrease or flatten the curve, allowing the healthcare system to better handle the caseload over an extended period of time. Flattening the curve can still be a complex concept to grasp since graphs are just unappealing. So let's make it practical by catting the curve as coined by epidemiologists, Dr. Anne-Marie Darling. She is a clinical pharmacist who lives alone with her cat, Mr. Whiskers, but she also has chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. The hospital she works at has to reuse personal protective equipment due to a shortage in masks. Recently, there was an increase in hospitalizations due to a group of 11 students that went to Miami since plane ticket prices were $25 a seat. They all contracted the coronavirus, and while she attended to them, she was infected and admitted to the ICU 14 days later. As you can see, her cat is sad because her owner has been away recovering from the serious complications she experienced from the infection due to her pre-existing chronic disease state. If her workplace wasn't overwhelmed from the lack of protective measures from the students, it is more likely she would not be sick right now. Say the student stayed home and followed the protective measures I previously mentioned, she would not be sick and her hospital will be able to do their part and her cat would be happy. Many other healthcare professionals are staying at work for you. Please do your part and stay at home for them. I hope this video provided additional and beneficial information to empower us all to flatten the curve. Thank you for listening and have a blessed day.